Hey, I'm Anakin Slade. Welcome to 24CH Special Extended Cut Edition. We caught up with some of the haves so that they can give you a special behind the scenes insight to some of the unforgettable moments from last season. All right, let's get to it. Episode one. Chucky and Prusty talk about their epic speed bag battle. PK explains what it's like to play his brother, the Bruin, for the first time in preseason. And Lars Eller explains what it's like to get in shape over the summer and kick off the season against Toronto. You guys ready? Let's check it out. So I heard that we're doing more like episodes this year. Is that true? So people are getting exclusive access. Oh, pretty cool. Remember, don't be late. Gladiator right there, boys. Gladiator. Oh, just as you know. see. Don't let me go into it. This is our focus. October 1st against Toronto. We stick together, okay? Out of boy, Georgie, eh? In 2012-2013, the season we thought we'd lost became the season of hope. New management, surprising rookies, and dedicated veterans shocked the Canadians from last to second place. But the playoffs were grueling. So the hockey brass worked all summer to shape up the team. We need to get bigger and harder to play against. Vacation over. The Canadians are about to start their 105th season. A new beginning, a fresh start. August 30th, 40 players are invited to the Canadians' rookie camp. They all have the same objective, to impress management and get noticed so their name stands out. The most ambitious even dream of making the roster this season. Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you to the rookie camp. We have high expectation here in Montreal. Take this camp very seriously. There's only one time you can make a first impression. Not everybody in here will go to the next camp. You have to earn the right to do that. Make us make hard decision. If you're on time, you're five minutes late. Remember that. Don't be late. Be respectful and be humble. It goes a long way. Good luck, and uh, good luck. <laughs> All eyes are on the first pick of the draft, Michael McCarran. He isn't just tall, he's very tall. Now he must prove he can play. Oh. Yeah, he went after, that was good. Oh, oh, wow. Nice play. Zachary Fucale is the youngest player at the camp. His mission, show his potential and sign his first professional contract. I'm one of the youngest players, I'm just 18, so it's my first chance to be in a professional camp. professionnel. Faire partie d'un d'un gros camp comme ça, le camp officiel des Canadiens, c'est bon pour mon expérience. J'ai juste hâte de continuer. Ouais, bon temps, j'ai bien. J'ai rien que des bons mots sur toi. Merci. Ok, on se doit prouver. Yes. All right, Zach. Ben, j'avais confiance en mes moyens. Je m'étais entraîné fort tout l'été pour justement arriver en forme au camp. Euh, tu sais, au début, comme j'ai dit dans la vidéo, je voulais mêler les cartes, sauf que je, je savais que ça allait être une tâche qui, qui allait être difficile. Puis euh, finalement, ça s'est bien passé. Je me rappelle euh, les premiers jours, euh, si on voit les tests physiques. Euh, c'est jamais le fun de les faire, mais <rire> c'était, j'étais confiant. Je m'étais entraîné fort tout l'été, puis je suis arrivé en forme euh, au camp. Puis je pense que c'est ça qui a fait la différence. They hope to be back next year. How was your, your camp? It's good. Good. Lots of fun, good experience. Was it your first pro camp? Yeah, first one. It was? Well, yeah. you know what? You caught our attention, the way you play, the way you compete. You, you didn't cheat the game, you finished your check, you play hard. And uh, obviously because now we have the big camp, the number goes down, but you really left a good impression. Uh, I gotta get stronger, bigger, for the type of game I play, I guess. <laughs> Zachary Fucale is worried. He doesn't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Check the main one. Check the main. I didn't understand what happened. There were just the numbers. Charlie, Beaulieu, we were at the table. We were like, what does that mean? What's happening? The guy that he meets, he's all awake. He means that you're still in the camp. He says, yes. Okay, that's it. J'ai juste expliqué qu'il faudrait qu'il relaxe parce que tu passes à la prochaine étape. 
September 11th, the veterans join the rookies who've made it to the next level. Hey, nice to meet you, big guy. What do you think? Oh, McCarran, big guy, eh? He's big. I'll confirm that one for you guys. He is big. A total of 55 players. By the beginning of the season, only half will remain. The day starts early with photo shoots. PK signs a jersey. I got a jersey. Uh, a friend of mine, they're kind of sad. Their grandfather's not doing so well, so they asked me to get this jersey signed for him. So, uh, Just sign that for me. No he's trophy winner, okay? Just yeah. sign it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12. Felt like I did something pretty meaningful, so. I think that was like the first day of training camp too, right? Yeah. I haven't signed it yet either. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. After their supermodel moment, it's time to suffer. The players pass a battery of tests to evaluate their physical state. Uh, going back to training camps, uh, definitely not most guys' uh, favorite day, but uh, it's not something you look forward to, but you get through it the first day of camp and uh, once it's over, uh, uh, everybody feels a little bit better. We made the playoff, but we lost in the first round. We can't be satisfied for that, guys. To all rookies, in every training camp, there's always guys that, rookies that stand out. Be one of them. Players are asked to introduce themselves. Yeah, this is Big Mike McCarran, a fellow American here. Uh, so the more we can get birds, the better off we are. And all the guys really made us feel welcome there, and it was a great great uh, little activity that they did there. This is Brian Gianta, um, 34 years old. Yeah, with me and Gianta. Yeah, he's, he's a small guy, but he gets, sure gets the job done on the ice. He's a sick player. Michael Bordemol, uh, he's from Shawinigan. He's got a girlfriend. Her name is uh, Marianne. She's uh, 5'11 and brunette. I actually got to meet Marianne uh, later on that season. Very nice girl. Yeah. Is she actually 5'11? Uh, yeah. She wasn't blonde though, she was pretty cool. Je me rappelle, j'étais quand même stressé tu sais, de, de monter sur la, la stage. Tu, sais, tu, tu connais pas la, la moitié des gars qui sont là, puis là, il y a des vétérans tu sais, que tu es, es gêné au début de, de les apporter. Puis, euh, non, je, je te dirais que ça ne tentait pas de monter sur la scène au début. <rire> <laughs> then Michel Terrien gets serious. Montreal is a special place to play, and we're fortunate to be part of that. To become a winner is pretty simple as far as we're concerned. You need to have the right attitude. Don't forget, you could play with a bad shoulder, but you can't play with a bad attitude. This is the only way that we're going to be ready as a team October 1st against Toronto. This is our focus. Let's start tomorrow on the ice. Michel Terrier tries to outplay his number one goal. Blood is drawn at the first practices. I couldn't tell you either, man. Gladiator right there, boys. Gladiator. Oh, exactly. Last year's two rookies, Gallagher and Galchenyuk, are doing everything to be in top shape for their second season. This is the best part ever. <laughs> Make sure that goes online. I would have to see that. Oh, that actually hurt. Did it? Yeah. Not bad. Don't try that at home. Chucky! But you know, you know what I'm good at this, though? Well, this thing doesn't hit his back. He was actually really good, um, surprisingly. That was a humbling experience. I don't punch the speed bag very, very much. I've always just used the heavy bag, so. Um, but Chucky, I think, like, his dad makes him, when he wakes up in the morning, as soon as he gets out of bed, I'm sure, like, he's, like he has to punch a speed bag before he even brushes his teeth or something. I don't know. Great fighter on the ice, but I think off ice, with that thing, I think I'm way better than him. Yeah. 
September 14th, the Canadians organize an inter-squad scrimmage with all proceeds going to the Lac Mégantique Support Fund. Ouais, c'est sûr, tu sais, quand c'est arrivé, c'était un événement dramatique, je pense, quand, comme tu as dit, ça a touché tout le Québec. Puis, euh, tu sais, c'était le fun de, de pouvoir voir comment les, les gens, tu sais, des, des fois, dans, après des événements, tu sais, il y a des petites choses qui peuvent apporter le bonheur. Puis, je pense que cette journée-là a été bénéfique pour tout le monde, euh, pour nous autres, qu'on a vécu ça avec eux autres euh, un petit peu. Puis, euh, de voir les, les sourires des gens après un événement comme ça, à cause de notre présence, c'était vraiment touchant. <laughs> After his first game at the Bell Center, Foucale is summoned to meet the big boss. Merci. Oh boy. Tu Je t'embarquais sur le warm-up, je, je me concentrais même pas à patiner, je faisais juste regarder, je suis quasiment tombé. C'est vrai? <rire> ouais, c'était drôle. Anyway, so, so what do I do? Uh, initial? Yeah. Je me suis dit ça? Ça va bien, là. Ouais. C'est le fun au bout. Moi aussi, belle journée. Belle journée, ouais. Ouais. <rire> Donc, tu le mérites. C'est que tu sais que le début, hein? Oui, merci. Continue. <laughs> Young Zachary Fukale rushes to tell his family. <laughs> the first preseason game is against Buffalo. Two rookies make an impression from the start. Tinordi is strong and Bolivar can score. Mais tu sais, l'été, tu n'as pas la chance de, de jouer des, des matchs de hockey bien, bien. Puis quand tu arrives à un camp d'entraînement, tu sais, la première game est, est toujours plus difficile, tu sais, le, le timing, les choses comme ça. Puis là, c'est un, un niveau supérieur, donc tu sais, la nervosité, là, tu pensais à toutes ces choses-là en même temps. Puis euh, bien, je pense que tu sais, ma, ma game a bien été, puis c'est vraiment ça qui a donné le, le ton à mon camp d'entraînement. Pretty good skater! Tonight, there are two Subans on the ice, PK and his brother Malcolm. PK yeah. Malcolm. That's cool. That? Yeah, that was cool. No, we didn't really communicate much. You know, Malcolm's a pretty serious guy. Like, people have to understand that, like, like my brothers are a lot different from me. You know, Jordan, the youngest, is probably the, we're probably very similar, but Malcolm's a lot different than I am, so. So it was pretty, yeah. Pretty cool, though, to play one game. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah, it was preseason, but I know that um, next year, I think this year, we have exhibition games Boston again, so maybe we'll get another opportunity to do it. That'd be pretty cool. The way we play? Yeah. Okay. I spoke to Danny and I spoke to uh, the RNA. Yeah. Whatever type of setup, we're not changing anything or positioning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in case we lose the draw, I retrieve to the net. Right? That's right. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Marc Bergevin wants to see Louis Leblanc, oui. first draft pick in 2009. Bon, t'as voyagé Tu as eu un bon camp? Ton énergie là bas la manière que tu patines, c'est dix fois mieux que l'an passé. Mm -hmm. Mais ce que tu as fait l'an passé, là, it was very average at best. Okay? On a toute une window dans, dans notre carrière. Là, ta window est là. là. Mm -hmm. fait que, tu nous ouvres les yeux, tu as, as travaillé, tu as mis ton patin, tu es plus fort. Quand je parle à slide, moi, il ne faut pas que tu me dises « Ah, oh, oui, la soirée, tu es average. » Tu ne peux pas. Tu peux pas avoir des périodes de 15 games que, que c'est quand j'appelle slide, parce que moi, je m'informe à toi, pas de vous jouer pour la game, je parle à slide, je suis comme un qui est doux. L'année passée, c'est Bird, il disait à ce soir, on le cherchait. Tu sais qu'on va t'aider, on va te faire, tu sais, pour euh, le rendre ici. Puis euh, le star, mais c'est toi, là. Il faut que tu fasses ce que t'as à faire. Quand j'appelle slide, je dis, c'est qui le meilleur frère, là, pour que ton nom vienne? That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, good. Thank C'est bon.
When you're in the Canadian's lineup, you're the talk of the town. Daniel Brière meets with Guy Lepage and Franco Nuovo. Ça va bien? Ah, beau bonhomme, comment ça? On essaye, <laughs> pas facile, mais... Le 4 juillet, il a signé avec le Canadien pour une durée de deux ans. Il va avoir 36 ans dans quelques semaines. Est-ce que vous vous sentez vieux? Je te dirais que non, pas depuis que j'ai signé avec le Canadien. Euh, je sens comme quoi que ça, ça m'a rajeuni beaucoup, beaucoup. Vous avez deux garçons qui sont encore à Philadelphie, mais qui s'en viennent. Trois, 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 trois. même. Oh OK. Est-ce qu'ils jouent au hockey? Euh, les deux plus vieux jouent au hockey. Euh, ouais. Le plus jeune vient de prendre sa retraite à l'âge de 12 ans. Il m'a annoncé <rire> euh, il, y <a> quelques... <rire> il y a quelques semaines, il a dit qu'il prenait, euh... prenait une année sabbatique. Euh, merci d'être venu, monsieur. Le hockey, je connais pas beaucoup ça, mais des gens intelligents qui ont du jugement, je connais ça, puis vous ne pas. Bien, merci beaucoup. Ah, bonjour, ça va bien? Ça va bien. Merci. C'est un honneur. Merci. C'est bien en plus. Oui, c'est très fun. En plus, il va avoir le Pas trop nerveux? Non, pas. T'es-tu déjà venu? Non, c'est la première fois. Ah, 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 le baptême. Voici le numéro 48 des Canadiens de Montréal. Daniel Brière! C'est un peu impressionnant quand tu arrives sur, euh, sur le plateau là, avec euh, tous les gens, tous les regards un peu sur toi. Tu sais que les questions arrivent un peu partout, mais euh, c'était une belle expérience. Comme le hockey est une religion au Québec, je propose de remplacer le crucifix de l'Assemblée nationale par un chandail du Canadien. <rires> September 20th, the Canadians go up against the Hurricanes in Quebec City. But the real Hurricanes are called Max and Devi. The Canadians win 6-0. It's party time. Ouais, je, pense, je pense que c'est la première fois qu'ils avaient fait ça. Euh, souvent, ça m'a fait fêter. Euh, tu sais, je pense à partir de ce moment-là, j'ai juste quel genre de personne qui était. C'est fun de le côtoyer, il euh, comme, comme ça tout le temps. Puis, euh, c'est, euh, il y a des personnes comme lui, on dirait, que, qui ont la, la démarche pour danser. C'est, c'est quand même assez drôle. Hein. Des fois, ça laisse à désirer, mais... Euh... <rire> On y rappelle, on y rappelle. Mais souvent, souvent personne, personne chiale. C'est, c'est correct. C'est de la bonne musique. C'est lui aussi. <rire> il n'y a personne d'autre qui veut s'en occuper. Fait que, euh, non, c'est correct. Il fait, il fait, en tout cas, personnellement, il, je trouve qu'il fait un bon choix, mais je pense pas que ça, ça plaît à tout le monde. Uh, get stronger. Come back next year, ready to make the team. Once Budai loads up his stick, Pacioretty plays a solid game. The Canadians beat the Devils two to one. Prust also knows how to kick. <laughs> Slovak player Budai explains how a penalty shot works. This is my best penalty kick ever in my life, right here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Boots is good too. He's a good goalie, especially in soccer. Too? In soccer, he's really good. He stops a lot of us. We do. Winning back home is the only option. After the first period, assistant coach Jean-Jacques Daigneault scolds his defenseman. You're not gonna turn the light switch on Monday night and expect to play a great game on Tuesday as the season starts. Okay, our job as a defenseman is to play tight and finish our checks. Let's take the body, Rafi. Let's start look, looking for that puck. Let's take the guy out. Get that friggin' guy in his ass. Okay, we're not bumping. We're refusing to pass the puck. We're holding out to that puck too long. You guys are quarterbacks. Come on, guys, let's go. His intervention works magic. The Canadians win three to one. Tenordi and Bournival are about to find out if they'll start the season in Montreal. How are you, Tenor? Good. You ready to play Tuesday? Yeah. You're gonna be in the lineup. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I'm really pleased about your camp. You make some great effort over the summer. We saw it right away from the get-go at the camp. For me, you were on a mission. 
How you feel about that? I feel good. Excited. You excited? Ready to go, yeah. Yeah? Anxious to yeah. Yeah. That's good. My parents will probably come up, so hopefully they can, uh, you know, I'll give them a call when I leave the rink today, and hopefully they can come out to, to opening night and experience that. That would be nice. Tu sais, au début de la saison, j'avais hâte tu sais, de savoir vraiment qu'est-ce qui qu allait arriver avec moi. Puis, tu sais, là, là, je ne savais pas trop quoi m'attendre quand je suis allé dans le bureau. Puis là, quand il m'a annoncé ça, ça a comme été un soulagement. Puis j'étais très content. Je me rappelle la première chose que j'ai faite en sortant du bureau, j'étais allé dans le vestiaire et j'ai appelé mes parents pour, pour les annoncer la nouvelle. Puis, non, c'était un très beau moment. Oui, c'est sûr, il était, il était content de. Que, que j'ai fait le saut dans la Ligue nationale. Tu sais, durant toute ma carrière, ils m'ont toujours supporté. C'est quand même des sacrifices pour eux autres, surtout tu sais, plus que ça avance, c'est midget 3. Tu sais, c'est beaucoup de voyagements. Puis nous autres, on était trois enfants, donc tu sais, les fins de semaine de, de congé, ils n'avaient pas 20 ils étaient dans les arénas à, à nous voyager partout. Les trois, on faisait du sport. Puis ma soeur faisait du patinage artistique à des compétitions tout en même temps. Des fois, il fallait que ça arrange avec d'autres parents pour nous voyager. Donc, je pense que tout le sacrifice, c'est euh, comme que je dis dans la vidéo, j'ai remercié euh, totalement. C'est grâce à eux autres. S'ils si, si n'avaient pas fait ça, j'aurais pas été à cette place présentement. Good luck, guys. Thank you for coming. The Bell Center is bustling for the inaugural match against Toronto. On n'oublie pas de souhaiter un bon début de saison à tout le monde. Pour la sécurité, soyez aux aguets. Évidemment, on sait que Toronto, à l'occasion, ça peut brasser un peu plus, autant sur la glace que dans les gradins. The colossal George Paros, acquired last summer, is eager to play his first game. It truly is a great opening night. Michel Terrien is feeling the pressure. Have a good start. Let's go. The party begins. The Leafs open the score. Then the Canadians score their first goal of the season. Montreal goes wild. After Eller, it's Gallagher's turn. It's like a playoff game, huh? It's a playoff game. Toronto dominates the second period. We win the third period. And we'll take care of the rest after. The third period is a battlefield until... George Paris knocks himself out by falling on the ice. It's no longer a game. The party is over. His eyes were open, but he wasn't there, like... Attaboy, Georgie, eh? F*** right, buddy. The Maple Leafs win 4-3. to three. Tonight, the Warriors' health matters more than their loss. Premiere 24 hours before everyone else only with the Bell TV app.